Hello and welcome back to the SCM Joinery Machines video series. Today we will show you the Thundercut app. If you missed the chance to discover it during the SCM Live show of June 2020, you now have the opportunity of a recap. First of all, this app is intended to be used when you work with circular saws. In fact, Thundercut app helps you to optimize the cutting of your panels and also guides you through the cutting sequence. Main features are the management of your circular saws fleet, the material warehouse and the multiple projects you are working on. A specific plus is the 3D sequencer that thanks to its simple and clear design suggests you in a very simple way the ideal setting of the machine for every single cut to be made. Main advantages are greater cut speed execution, less material waste and mistakes are minimized. Now you are probably asking yourself how it works, how do I download this app and start using it? As I said, this app is made to be used with circular saws, circular saws with mobile carriage and a tilting blade unit, saw shaper combination machine and universal combination machine. This is the reason why you will find the QR code to activate the app in every new SCM machine that belongs to the technologies I've just listed a few seconds ago. If you already bought an SCM machine starting from July 2020, please contact us at thundercut at scngroup.com and we will provide you the activation code. Okay, now let's see how the app works. After you download the SCM Thundercut app from the App Store or the Play Store, depending by the operating system of your device, iOS or Android, you can open the app in your device. The first thing the app will ask you is to register a new account using your email. After this, the app will ask you to scan the QR code supplied with your new SCM machine to activate the app. You are now able to use Thundercut app. In the Machines tab, click on the plus button to proceed with the registration and the setting of our machine, paying particular attention to the technical features as they will influence the behavior of the optimizer and the sequencer. You also have to do these two measures on your machine, following the instructions, and write in these lines the value. If you have a circular saw with automatic mobile carriage, activate this toggle. If you have more than one machine, you have to select which one you are currently working on. In the configuration tab, you can choose the cut type, giving priority to stops, parallel fans, automatic mode. In general, we suggest the last one, but if you are using a circular saw with automatic mobile carriage, we just suggest parallel guide. The minimum dimension of the rest field will set the minimum panel dimensions not to be considered waste. Now we have to populate our warehouse. It consists of two main characteristics, the materials and the panel. The materials indicate the physical characteristics to be associated with each individual row panel. We can fill in several useful fields such as color and grain.
Now we can create or import the project from existing files. Creating a new project, we can insert some useful data such as customer name and description of the project. Going forward to the Parts tab, we must fill in the cutting list, which is composed of the finished pieces that we want to obtain. In case of import from an existing file, this part will already be fulfilled. Once the cut list has been completed, the app automatically suggests the raw starting panels that can be used for the project, but if we want, we can add others directly from this menu. The project has been saved and we can proceed to calculate the solutions. The app shows us different solutions, each with its own main feature that can be less waste, faster execution and many others. In our case, we only have one solution proposed by the app. We can see a preview of each solution and view the cutting patterns. By drag and drop, it is also possible to change the order of the panels to be sent to the sequencer. It is now time to start the sequencer that will guide us in the sequence of cut to be made. The screen has different settings. We can change the view of the machine, activate or deactivate the animations, or repeat the last animation. The 3D model shows you exactly how to set your machines. The graphic will show the position of the squaring frame and fans to set. The number in green indicates the position of the stops or the parallel fans. Once we have done the cut, clicking on next, we will move on to the next cut. The app manages the stacks of panel, indicating what must be set aside for next cut and what is instead a finished panel. Touching the panels, we can also see their name in order to know exactly what piece we just produced. If we have a label printer connected to the tablet, when a finished product is done, the app automatically sends a label printing signal to the connected printer. It's also possible to repeat the printing with a dedicated button. The map at the top left indicates the progress of the cuts inside the starting panel and how many row panels we are using compared to the total needed for the project. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that was useful for you. Thank you for being with us and I see you in the next video about SEM joining machines.